Hello all you Huggable Lollipops, I'm Joseph the Huggis, and today I'm playing Zen Pinball 2 Star Wars Episode 8 The Last Jedi table, and this is another retro review of the Star Wars series. And to be honest, I'm getting serious Star Wars fatigue. It's been recording all these movie reviews, watching every single movie over again, and playing Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2 is giving me really Star Wars fatigue. A massive Star Wars fatigue. So, what is the plot according to IMDb? Ray developed. Ray develops her newly discovered abilities with the guidance of Luke Skywalker, who is unsolved by the strength of her power. Meanwhile, the Resistance prepares for battle with the First Order. Watch out! Tide fighters on our tails. I lost interest in this movie three times, and that's mainly the Finn and Rose. Casino seeds, casino scenes. Those, I never really liked the scenes on that planet. And to be honest, I haven't seen this movie as much as I saw The Force Awakens or any of the other Star Wars movies. This is probably the one I've seen the least. Next to Solo and uh, Rogue One. I did think it looked pretty pretty good it Watch out. Tie fighters on our tail. it definitely spent a lot of time in space which was nice and everything was a new scenery they didn't go back to an old planet just like the actually just like the the force awakens they didn't go back to any planets that we knew they're all new planets it did sound like a Star Wars movie like it's supposed to but I still don't I think the music sounds distinctive for me, but I wasn't paying attention to it, honestly. I, I don't have any problem with the music, it just doesn't feel super original, but then again, this is the ninth, I mean the eighth episode. Character one I want to talk about is the main character Ray and I I actually loved her um is her name Daisy Ridley I loved her performance in this movie yeah Daisy Daisy Ridley yep I love her performance in the movie she does feel like a Jedi and it is very much. It's very nice to have a female Jedi who can kick ass, be the main character. And I don't, I don't know why she like. She doesn't get as much credit for the female empowerment move movement. She may have. I don't know. I'm not a female. I don't pay attention to that. I do love the fact that she's the main character. She can kick some serious ass. Character number two is uh, Kylo Ren, and I, and then the very beginning when, from the very beginning when Snoke tears out, I mean, has him take off that mask, and you actually get to see his face in this movie is great because Adam Driver does a very good job with his facial expressions with that blank look. And you really can't tell, but you can tell what he's thinking. I very much appreciated the fact that the mask was off. He feels more original like that. We're losing troops. Character three is Snoke, and I feel like he's a waste of a uh, villain again in the Star Wars universe where 
villains are, are built up to be taken down by the hero, but he really wasn't taken down by the hero. He was taken down by Ren, so... He is extremely powerful. Well, I do. I can't believe how powerful he is. And the line where he says he warned Ren that with Ren's growing strength in the dark side, that the bright side would get an equal. Who's Snoke's equal? Is it Luke? Because that, if that's so, then that's a very, that, I don't, Luke's hiding a lot of his abilities. My least favorite scene is Rose and Finn at the casino and running around on that planet. I couldn't care less on it. And it feels like that is just... A side story to build time for the rest of the story. Like it's a time filler and a distraction from what we actually care about. It's a change of pace to give us a break from what we actually care about. And honestly, I could care less. And I have no problem with Rose either. I actually very much enjoy Rose. I have a bigger problem with uh, Finn actually. My most favorite scene is, it's it's a tough choice because there are two really, really fun scenes in this movie for me. That's when the resistance, resistance transport, transport ship goes through the, I'm not sure what it's called, the Super Star Destroyer, I'm just going to call it that. But the scene that I like more is when Rey and Kylo take on the Knights of Ren and they just complete the... Cut those, cut those knights down, which is weird because aren't the knights of Ren trained, trained uh, warriors too? They they took them down pretty easy. How they must have been Luke's weakest students if they couldn't take down Ren and and uh, Ray because they're they're not. Invincible, they do have weaknesses. So, my thoughts on the movie is Poe the best starfighter in the history of Star Wars because he's really, really good at in that cockpit. I wonder who would win in a dogfight between him and uh, Anakin and Luke. And I wonder if Poe's force sensitive because his reflexes are really fucking amazing. I haven't read the comic that they did on him. I wonder if I should pick that up. Because I do enjoy him for the most part. I mean, in this movie, he was really a dick and he there is conflict for the sake of having conflict with him and everyone else. But if Luke was really trying to hide... Why would he? Why would there be a map to him? And why would he go to the very first Jedi Temple? If he wanted to stay away from everyone, all he had to do is go to Tatooine. Because apparently, no one ever looks to think to look. No one ever thinks to look for anyone on Tatooine. And my God, Finn is trying to run away again. S it, that his he has no flight re I mean, fight reflex apparently all he wants to do is fly away and run away from his problems which in the case of the first order was great he ran away from them we have to start the right at a certain point you need to stop running away and actually st my next Thought really is enough thought that I written down. I actually love Rose. I really have no problem with her. She's not the stupidest character in these movies. I mean, there's a lot of stupid characters in these movies. So, could Snoke not find Luke 
because Luke chose to cut himself away from the Force. Snoke's pretty powerful if he can bridge the mind between Rey and Ren. But yet he couldn't find Luke on the very first Jedi Temple. It's pretty weird. So I've never done drugs, but that scene where Ray is in like that the dark side floating around in there. Is that what it's like to be on a bad trip? Because it really is freaky. I have no idea. Yoda used a lightning bolt to burn down a tree. Are there no limits for Jedi's anymore or Sith? Or can they just do whatever the fuck they want? What what happened to that? They even dead Jedi's can affect the world. If I guess if you're strong enough with the Force, you can do whatever you want. But seriously, that like what is the limit of their power? Why is Finn's word enough for the Codebreaker. It's not like he's a leader in the Resistance. He's basically just a soldier and not a very reliable one. He's always trying to run away. Why is it not... They didn't pay him. The, he doesn't... The, he knows barely anything about the Resistance as soon as he, he, he joined them, I guess. He was... Knocked unconscious. I don't get why the code brother, the code breaker, needed to trust him. The code breaker was actually being more logical than Finn was. We better split up. DJ, take BB-8 with you. Rose, we can get away with these. Fires. Kylo Ren is a true Sith Lord now because you can only become a Sith Master until you kill your. We're losing troops. Your master, so he finally he fulfilled that circle, which was pretty cool. I like, I really love that part. It's time for this game. That Ray's parents being no one is one of the biggest letdowns in movies. It's seriously the most fun that I had with this movie and with the last movie was. All right, maybe we'll find out who Ray's parents are. Maybe it was like looking at theories, thinking of your own theories. Now, I do think you could consider the source that Kylo was the one who was saying that to her, and he really desperately wanted uh, Ray to stay with him. But Ray even said it herself that they were nobody. So. Maybe it is true, which would suck because that's a huge letdown and to one of the biggest right well built the storylines they had. But then again, in episode 10, we might, I mean, 9, I mean, whatever episode. I'm, I've, I'm so done with this right now. I should have given myself more time to do this. But. Maybe in the next movie we'll find out something different. I don't know. It really did suck there. If the resistance didn't, resistance didn't know Ray, I mean Rose and Finn were in that transport ship, why did they have the door open? There's no reason to have the door open if they think everyone that's already in there. They could have lowered it beforehand, and it basically would have killed Rose and Finn, which wouldn't have been the biggest deal in the world. But still, there was no reason for them to have that door open. None. So, I, out of 10, I would rank it a 7. Which is prequel level for me. Is ready to go. Cover it. I really don't remember seeing like anything in this movie that was super amazing or original. It felt like it was trail. trying to be Empire, like 
the last one was trying to be a new hope. It doesn't feel like it's a new storyline or adding anything that we really needed. I would, I still would recommend it a five out of five. I have a serious problem with Star Wars, or else I wouldn't be doing this right now. Well, that's all I had to say about the movie. I've seen this raw strength only once before. It didn't scare me enough then. Uh, it does now. It's time for the Jedi to end. I need someone to show me my place in this. To show me how I can use this. I hope Captain Phasma is actually dead this time. They waste. They like really wasted that character. I think I'm getting a little bit better at pinball games, though. I would hope so. I've played enough of them at this point within the last few days. Good. When I'm recording this right now, the the trailer for the next one came out, and I think it looks decent. I wonder if the Emperor is going to be a Force Ghost or not. Or if the Emperor was the one who was pulling the strings for Snow. This is the biggest problem with this movie is like they they built up Snoke and Ray's parents and they let us down on both of them where they easily could have had some sort of payoff for either one. Man, this movie was a letdown. We better split up. DJ, take BB-8 with you. Rose, we can get away with these fathers. This world doesn't need any more Jedi. We can see only darkness. They are losing men, finally. <laughs> Resistance scum. It's time well, for this. Game. Thanks for watching. Have some grape juice, and I will see you next time. Bye.